Hey guys, this is Matt with your How To Channel. Listen, we got a laptop today. We're getting ready to show you how to fix your laptop. This laptop was brought to us by one of our teammates. It's running a little hot. We're going to rip into it and take a look. We told her, don't throw it out the window just yet. Give us about five minutes to take a look at it. A common problem is cat hair, dog hair, dust, smoke, dust, dust, dust. A lot of stuff gets inside the laptop, gets all over the heat sinks and the internals and it just clogs it up and the laptop can't ventilate and cool properly. Some tools and or things you're going to need while doing this project is a table, or a nice open table that you don't lose screws and stuff like that. A Phillips head screwdriver, very small because the screws on here aren't big like on a house. So they're small screws and a can of compressed air. We're going to be using a little shot glass here to put screws in. They could fall over when you lose screws like that, they're pretty much gone. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and tilt the laptop on its backside and look for the screws that are around the edge. There's going to be anywhere from 8 to 10 to give or take. So we're going to start unscrewing screws, just like so. It's always a good idea to have the battery pack removed from the laptop while you're doing this because there is volts and current running through there and it could shock you if you touch the wrong things. So we've just removed the screws that go around the laptop's border here and a couple on the inside. Now the hard drive will have to come out during this. You don't want to shake your hard drive. You don't want it to drop out as you're lifting the laptop around. So these plates just simply pop off when the screws come out. They're real easy. And the hard drive will come out. You want to be very careful when doing this. If you don't feel comfortable, just go ahead and stop. Put it back together. Take it to the shop. A shop will do it. But now you have a heads up on what they're going to be doing. So you know when they talk, it's not in a foreign language. Does that make sense? We've just removed our hard drive simply by we took a flathead screwdriver, just pried up a little bit on this opposite side of where it's hinged in, kind of like, and just came right out. Now keep the hard drive very level, keep it in a safe place. You don't want to shake this and you don't want to put it near magnets. That'll destroy your hard drive. Now with our screws removed, we turn our laptop over, tilt the screen back as far as you can get it without breaking it, and just take a, I use a small flathead screwdriver, got in the sides here and pried until I got this cover up here to come off. We can see here this piece. You don't have to remove the connectors on it. You know, that's they're really fragile down there. This just has to be a little bit out of the way so you can simply move pry the keyboard out to get this top piece off. So remember we pried this kind of cover off here and the keyboard after that is just held in by some clips. We kind of pried around the edges. Got the keyboard out. Now you notice there's a connect where's it at? Connector there. This slides into the computer you're going to want to just carefully pull it out. Okay, we just pried this out. It just simply slides in right there. And it looks like that. When you put it back in, you're going to want to put it in the same way. Make sure this doesn't does get twisted and all that. To give us a little bit more room and free up some space up here, we, we very carefully, these little wires, we just disconnected this piece up here. We're going to leave these wires here because this is going to remain on this whole big plastic covering here to access the part we need up here just to clear up, clear up some room here that's all we did okay, go ahead. so now we have you know a couple things pried out here and this off as good as we can get now we're not going to remove the fan on this laptop because the fan works and the heat sink and fan is all one unit on this particular model of laptop but on some computers the heat sink would simply come right out compressed air here we install the nozzle and we simply will spray away on this fan and you can there's dust coming out all over and the fan is much cleaner I don't even see dust anymore so that's all we're gonna do we're gonna spray the internals and get get the dust that's gathered around here so we used our compressed air on the fan in here and the internals of the laptop and man it was just loaded with dust dust particles have settled everywhere the fan was just you know, inside out, it had so much dust. We blew this, we literally had to wipe the laptop screen out. There was so much dust flying out. So, um, job well done so far. We're going to put it back together and then run the computer and we'll see if it still gets hot in about five minutes. So, uh, we're going to start by assembling. So, now we're going to put it back together. We want to make sure we, we took a mental note of what goes where. And we're just going to simply push pieces back in. Start with the last thing you took off, which happened to be this in my situation. Wrong way. Just slide these in like such. 
and silver screw. Okay, you can pause it. <laughs> All right. Now we take the keyboard. Nothing's been attached yet, but just just this is kind of in place. We take the keyboard. We grab over the end of this cable. This is can be fun here. We just want to slot it. See on there where it's going. The same manner we took it out. We just want to get it started. So we just simply put that cover that runs along the top of here in, and we're just putting the screws back in. We don't want to put these in yet until we get everything snapped in place. Now that this is along the battery area. Last one here. As you put pieces on like this, you want to apply a little bit of pressure on the other side so the screw will actually engage and grip like it's supposed to. That was just putting this piece together. Now that's on there nice and snug. Very nice. There is our screws we dumped out of the jar there. We're now going to put them back around where they came out. I like to start on the corners so I have like a foundation that I use the middle ones. But you can start anywhere. This job doesn't matter since the plastic kind of touches evenly all over anyways. Okay, So we've just installed all of our screws and the laptop's nice and snug. We tested everything and it was nice and snug just like from the factory. Now we're going to install these covers here, plates. Simply slide the hinge end in first, let it sit flush with the laptop, and then tighten the screws down. Go a little bit on each one so they get nice and even. Mm -hmm. now, now we install our hard drive in the same manner it was removed. We see these slots right here, these little flaps, there's slots right here in the laptop. We slide this in and just like that let it drop down onto and that's it. Let it, it there's a, a grid like this and it just simply is sliding on and locking and that's all it did. Make sure it's nice and flush, just apply even pressure and our screw holes line up perfectly, so it looks good. Now our door for this. This just goes down just like that. Real easy stuff here. We actually turned the laptop back on and man, it ran great. We put it to the test. The laptop ran at an optimal temperature. The fan didn't spin real fast, so we were really impressed with what we did. I've done this little quick fix on numerous laptops throughout my years, and every time I've done it, it seems to be the same exact procedure. You remove the screws in the bottom, and the top simply pries right off so you can access the internals of the computer. Do you aspire to achieve great success? If you do, there's no reason why you shouldn't achieve that success. Simply click the blue link in the description box on this video. It's www.youdoiteveryday.com. That's me and Matt's website. We're going to walk you through step by step how to make a lot of money. Simple as that. Pick up the phone and give us a call. Our numbers are on that website. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll